Hi, Katie here. Join Brian, Jason, and I for a week on the Atlantic, heading west with some surprising stowaways. Brian gets a head wound and I experience one of nature's wonders for the first time. And no crossing is complete without some problems. And the mystery of who stole our last good lure. Katie's making some breakfast? No, I'm not. No? Jason's making some good stuff. Whoa! Some Jason's liquid. busting out the good stuff for Christmas. Take it away, Sammy. Dominate the camera. Ocean. Ocean. Uh, not the container, but the... Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> careful what you say around. Spirits were high as our crossing came closer to the end. One reason for the heightened morale was the tropical vibe. The weather had been warming up and warming up fast. The humidity grew, making the air thick with moisture. A piña colada seemed to be just a dinghy ride away, with the downpouring of tropical rainstorms in the horizon. This new environment called for a change in personal hygiene. guys out there with the comb over, shave it off already. Stop. <laughs> Not fooling anybody and it doesn't look good. Girls dig it too. Along with the warm weather, the swells learn to calm the F down. I had been seasick off and on during the crossing, so I caught any moment of calm to enjoy some reading. There's nothing like learning how to reset a compound fracture in the wild to ease the nerves. Catch of the day. Yeah. Oh my god. It really is like a seaweed. Look at that. Yeah. There's little fucking air pockets on it and everything. Yeah, it's just a seaweed that just doesn't attach yeah. to anything. It just. So that is considered floats. a single celled organism. Really? Yeah, seaweed. Oh. It just, it's those cells grow uh, into like different things, but as far as I remember, it's, that's why it's considered like an algae group. Yeah. Probably just making like 30 more plants. Exactly right. Yeah, I like worms. You just keep cutting them and it keeps making more. When I was a kid, my mom told me that when worms get cut, that it just makes more worms because they have multiple things. So I would be in the garden chopping worms up thinking I was making more worms. <laughs> like, because I knew they were good for the garden. I thought I was doing a good thing and I'm just massacring fucking worms. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so I still like the in between stage of hair, where it was just kind of like fuzzy. I grew up playing cards and treasure any friend that enjoys a good shit talking while playing a good game. I don't pride myself on being sly or cunning. I am not skilled in the art of reading tells or knowing the odds. To be honest, at times, I am that person everyone is staring at to take their turn. Oblivious and lost in the spirit of having fun. I do get competitive, but only when I'm losing. Well, the winds are dying down. Isopod. Okay. Isopod? Isopod. What? There's a really roly poly in here? Yeah. Well, okay. How are you still alive, buddy? I was going to film something else, but we got a kiter on the deck. He's struggling. He's struggling. A little bunny. I don't know, should we tuck him? Go back to the sea. He's a crustacean. Yeah. It's supposed to taste like lobster. That's not what I was going to film, but... <laughs> uh, the winds have died down quite a bit. So Brian fired up the port side engine to give us a little more go. And she ain't spitting water. So that's bad. So something is wrong with the pump or maybe one of the impeller bits got lodged somewhere, but Brian's figuring it out right now. Do you need a hand base? Eventually I'll need somebody to start the engine. Okay. It's just the intake on the underneath side of the boat. Okay. And, uh, seawater catch isn't filling, so. Oh, gotcha. Handyman Brian at it again. calcium buildup in the uh, in the inlet on the sail drive. Uh, it seems to be flowing now. Nice. Do you want me to check it? Uh, I just had him start it and check it. I'm going to hook up all the hoses. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to put the hoses all back on and we'll check it. Okay. Yo, man. I'm tired of this. Oh, hold on. Okay. Eggs are done. It means my band-aid is like second to the eggs. Well, That's okay. Because we all get to benefit from the eggs. Yeah, because you don't even know what I'm making. And I get a sip of coffee. Oh, man. So good. Making potato salad. Yeah. Ha! Tell me I don't know. <laughs> Christmas off. I don't, I don't get the day after Christmas off. What, I just have a drool of blood? Yes. Oh.
that one's pretty much healed. But I had a fresh one on the top of my head. Then I hit it this morning. And then I just hit it again. When you live on a boat, you have a different understanding of clean. I mean, and dry. ow, ow, the pain, ow. Oh. I you want this look like a mohawk or like a Ooh yeah, a mohawk. That's been a it's been a couple decades. <laughs> I'm gonna look like Jason. Yeah, then you guys are you guys are twinsies now. If I put one on this one too, then you would have it all the way. Oh, that might be. If they were colored band-aids, <laughs> I would do it. <laughs> it's time to change, buddy. Oh. I hear a lot of giggling. Hold up, hold up. Batten. There you go. Yeah. You're good. Down to pee, I hear the fishing pole go off. <laughs> yeah, Jason thinks he just put the lure right off, so we'll see. <laughs> might be a fish, might be a lure, might be nothing. I picked it up and it <laughs> felt like it was going to come right at my hand and pull me right off the boat. Whoa, shit, big one. Nothing? Uh, it, 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 it swallowed it and it was big enough to just bite right through that line. Yeah. Well, that and we got the bullet squid, I guess. Yeah, but he's not. I'm not sure what he is. Yeah. Dang. Ah. We've lost more lures than fish that we've caught. <laughs>
I just come back upstairs from doing something down in the garage. And I'm wondering, where is Katie? Like, she's not at the helm, she's not in here, she's not in the bedroom. And then I glance out to the front. I guess the dolphins are back. Clouds do make for a beautiful sunrise. I've been working with my mom back in the States on uh, some weather rooting for us because there's a big electrical storm 